started this ugly move by burning a station in Rile. Is it the protesters that burned that station? It's the auction that the politician gave money to go and burn it so that they can have a, a, an opportunity to declare coffee. That's 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 a serious that's a serious allegation which uh, can be proven because he just said they gave money to politicians, gave money to people to go and burn. I just wanted to correct that. I hope you can hear me. It's wicked. It's uncalled Well, I, I hope you can hear me. I was just saying what you said there is a serious. A very serious allegation that has to be proven because before you can say that what you were saying that uh, politicians give money to people to go and burn to go and burn the station. How so? Uh, uh, you have a, uh, a brother call me again. You call me for this interview. Areo Nokakam for Firuba Land. Ibagani Adams has said the burning of Orile Igomo police station by hoodlums was part of the plans employed by the Lagos state government to force, forcefully stop the Hashtag answers protests in Lagos. Adams, who spoke in an interview with Arise Television on Sunday morning, also alleged that having tried several means which failed to stop the hashtag answers protests, talks sponsored by politicians carried out the arson so as to blame it on the peaceful protesters. He said the burning of the police station set the stage for Governor Babajide Sonwolu to declare a coffee in the state, a move which later backfired as the protesters in Lekki refused to leave and were shot by the soldiers. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, I think it's not even different from what people are saying. Uh, of course, they can deny it all they care. Uh, Sinimbo has come out to say, oh, he's paying for what he never, he knows nothing about. And people are saying, if, you know, you are left with your conscience, let your conscience judge you. Let your conscience judge you. If they say, oh, it is the opposition that orchestrated it, let their conscience judge them as well. But what we know is that truth will always prevail. Well, you can see the kind of calling themselves leaders, those calling themselves leaders of tomorrow with chicken brain, calling himself Are on Okaka Where you where were you when Udlom stole Oba of a Oba of Lagos staff of office? Okay, that's what someone says here that Ghani Adam is another liar. Uh, maybe it was also the governor that sent the hoodlums to steal the staff of office. People like him are the real problems we have in that country. So it's now hoodlums that stole other staff of not other staff of office, not Igbo traders again. Well, uh, someone says hey, you curse this man because he said the truth. You would have been happy if he said it was one tribe you don't like. What do you expect when you glorify Miss Cranston like Ghani Adams, Sunday, Igbohu, and so on and so forth, and others as leaders? May God Almighty punish you and your family by saying such things to Areo Onoka Kanfu. May devil punish you as well. Well, the worst Areo Onoka Kanfu, the worst Areo Onoka Kanfu in history, elevated Agberu. Blame Allah Fin, Oni Jeku Jeoba. You lack sense. Believe me, Ari Onoka Kanfu is one of the best men in Nigeria. You know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. Everybody has a different perspective to what has been happening. By the revelation, Igbos have been exonerated from these allegations of burning Yoruba properties and the lootings by miscreants. Of course, everybody knows what they know. They, you know, it's just a a, uh, a tactic to just divert divert people's attention to other places. Well, Igbos has no involvement in what take place in Lagos. We Yoruba are the real hoodlums and thugs. How can an elderly man be talking carelessly like this? So, they were the one that sponsored the hoodlums too, to go and burn the private and public properties in Lagos State. What the state needs now is peace. Well, good talk. Well, you are so ignorant of what Ghani said. Did you watch the interview? You write from the point of ignorance. Watch you watch movies too much. Start watching Arise TV. You will see the uh, repeats and you will be ashamed of your ignorance. I'm entitled to share my view. It is now a matter if you to agree or disagree by convincing me instead of being abusive. And I think uh, from the interview, he said this you know when you started something, you didn't know that it's going to escalate because when you are planning something, 
But the repercussion of it, you might not know it's going to go to that extent because he was trying to say they started this whole thing to scare the protesters. But at the end of the day, the protesters did not leave. And that was why they used force. And before you know, all of those things, you know, escalated. And you know that uh, most of the time people always talk about, oh, politicians using thugs. By the time they use thugs, by the time they win the election, they will forget all of those things that they are giving those uh, 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 thugs. And those ones will not be using it again. To perpetrate evil, but those who have used them, they've forgotten. I think that's exactly what he was trying to say in that interview. Where Gani Are Onoka Kanfu is 100% right, is a leader who is not afraid to speak the truth at all times. Are God will bless you. Our leaders in Yoruba are evil, they are agents of evil or agents of devil. I guess all other bond stations were done by the state government. What a senseless and um, senseless statement by this uh, illiterate. Why is wisdom? Why is wisdom in what Ghani is saying? Okay, this is a myopic thinking from a person called the general uh, generalism of Yoruba land defending the bad acts. Uh, Igbo would be munching us now because mocking us now because if this is the thinking of a highly esteemed array, we are gone. So you want to say, you want to put it on on the egos, that the egos are the ones that did this whole thing. Ah, we could not fear God. People will not trace problem from the, or, from the origin, from the roots. You will not trace the problem. You just want to jump at something that they, this thing. That propaganda is not working for where many Nigerians. It's not working. That's how you say the egos. So egos are the ones that brought uh, this, uh, what is it called? Or egos are the ones that are telling the SARS, to do what they were doing across uh, the state. I don't understand. I don't really understand. Um, Are Kanfu, you are totally right because many police has been burnt by hoodlums before the shutting on uh, shutting up peaceful process in Lekki. I blame Allah Fionyo over the most powerful title in Yoruba land given to a carpenter because he has he has you to prevent bullets that is that is all. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so Wolu Tinubu, uh, criminals, uh, the sponsor, uh, the bonds of the police station, and uh, the K. God is watching everybody and their rules exactly. Their conscience, everybody, their conscience. One thing that you cannot even cheat is your conscience. Your conscience will tell you, we continue to, you know, we be the judge. I, I think that's the, that's the best. But some people don't, don't worry. Some people, some people are really heartless. Some people are really heartless. He might, or but most of most of the time, conscience will always be the judge. Your conscience will always be the judge. At times, the times will come. They just like okay, okay, forget nothing they happen. But when you are all alone, all alone, all alone, your conscience will prick you. Like they always say, two people cannot lose lies. You know when you are telling somebody lies, the person will believe you. But you that you are telling the lies knows the truth. The person might not know the truth. That is just one thing we 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 are lost just holding on onto this whole issue all of them they know the role they play and nobody they will never go unpunished they will never never go unpunished well a lot of people are just abusing this man mm -hmm. he's entitled to his opinion so government needed to burn police stations so that they could see they could kill someone so all the places where police police station and properties were burnt across nigeria were sponsored by politicians exactly the same questions so the only problem, or if you know that, then why people say it is the Igbos that are causing problems here and there, even in their own region too. A lot of bunch of problems are there. Well, true talk from a uh, Ghani Adams. Read carefully before you start commenting. The writer is actually intending to okay, not even misleading. The video is there. You disappointed. You disappointed. Uh, from today, I will never be your followers again. Who is this person talking to? Is he Are of Onaka Kanfu? So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what Are has said.